So 16 years ago, Chris Sawyer made Roller Coaster Tycoon. After that, he came out with Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. This took many of the ideas in Roller Coaster Tycoon 1 and brought them forward. Then we came out with Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. This was the first time the franchise was introduced to the world of 3D graphics. We're bringing a lot of that to our next game, which is Roller Coaster Tycoon World. The vision behind RCTW is to really capture those things in the previous games that fans loved and then put a level of next generation polish on top of everything. Roller Coaster Tycoon World is really the next generation of Roller Coaster Tycoon. It brings the franchise forward. In this game, we started from the ground level. We read what fans wanted. We saw what their behaviors were in our previous games. And we combined all that knowledge along with the sort of passion of the team, both at Atari and here in Envisio, to come up with Roller Coaster Tycoon World. My favorite technical aspect in the game is by far the coaster editor. Previous games you were building piece by piece, track segment by track segment, but now we've built a really robust spline-based coaster editor, which means you've got these long curves that you can manipulate however you want. So as a user is creating a curved path or roller coaster that can move anywhere in 3D space, we kind of have to calculate the angles and the direction changes and the forces and everything that we need in real time to allow the user to make any type of shape that they want. And we've done this with Six Flags. We wanted to bring their expertise in running some of the world's greatest theme parks and building some of the coolest roller coasters we've ever seen to Roller Coaster Tycoon World. Yeah, it's been an incredible partnership with Envisio and Atari, and we've worked very closely to look at things like the schematics of our theme park, the guest traffic patterns, you know, of course, all of our rides and the layout of our major coasters and our tallest thrill rides, but it's really all of that little stuff, that attention to detail, that I think will make this game the most realistic theme park game that's ever been made. The simulation is something that we're really bringing a step forward. We've rethought how we're doing the shops and the stall system and all the different operations that you have to use inside of the game. Artificial intelligence in Roller Coaster Tycoon World differs from previous games in that in previous games the AI would sort of roam around discovering things and evaluating whether those things match their current needs and then deciding whether to participate or not based on that. In our game, it's much more about they know their current state of needs and they intentionally choose to go take whatever action is going to help them out according to their current needs. They also care about the theming of objects in your park. Some peeps are gonna wanna ride Western type rides. Some peeps are gonna wanna eat at science fiction themed restaurants. Peeps have an internal preference for the type of cuisine that they like to eat. All of these contribute to an experience where peeps are caring about a lot more of your park than they used to. One of my favorite features is the terrain deformation. I think our developers were able to create something that is easy to use, but also give the possibility for the players to customize their park and make it look the way they want. So we really spent a lot of time making a tool that is simple for users, but very powerful for our hardcore gamers. So they really can personalize their park as much as possible. A modern way of doing a simulation game means also using modern techniques. So we're multi-threading the game as much as possible. Yeah, that really expands the AI, gives us a lot more room for breath because we have faster CPUs now, so we can actually use that. 64-bit, new age graphics, we're using yeah. a lot of high-end techniques to try to bring the graphics up to next-gen type of material. What hasn't been done before in an RCT game is using modern rendering technologies. For the first time, we're integrating natively user-generated content support, which we think is a huge innovation. It's going to allow players to dream up things that we didn't even think was possible. We've announced that we're going to be doing Steam Workshop support, which in and of itself allows for a lot of different sharing features. It's an evolutionary step for the franchise. The game not only looks beautiful, but it looks realistic. I think it's going to really change the way some people play this game.